Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video, very excited to do it because I'm finally got my hands on the two brand new shades from Charlotte Tilbury, the Hypnotizing Pop Shots. I ordered these with the pre-sale. So I ordered these with the pre-sale, like a lot of other people. The Ultraviolet sold out, it since came back, and then it sold out again. But it took a full 10 days to get to me. So um, once I finally got it, I think I ordered it on a Tuesday or Wednesday, and I got, it was like nine or 10 days. I got it on a Friday. I'm recording this on a Tuesday because by the time I got it, there was already a lot of videos up. They had sent PR. So I just said, you know what? I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna do something different than I originally planned. But I did get them, um, so I'm very excited because I love the Pop Shots. I have all seven shades of the original Pop Shots that came out, I guess, October or November for holiday of last year. They have since sold out and most of them are out of stock and I use them all the time. I, I really do, I really like them. Um, so when these came, when these were like, you know, uh, teased, I knew I was going to get them. And again, like I said, the Ultraviolet has sold out. It's actually sold out twice, but I finally got them and uh, let's, let's get into it. So if you aren't new to my channel, um, you know that I love Charlotte Tilbury. I love everything about Charlotte Tilbury, except for one thing their shipping. Their shipping sucks. I'll just be honest. Um, so I live in Florida and their shipping is out of California. And so it obviously takes a while. Um, but it takes like two or just, just so you know, when you order, it takes two to three days for it to actually get shipped out. And then it just takes a while. Um, with the matte blushes, I had actually decided to order them overnight. I paid for overnight shipping and they charged me for overnight shipping, but then they sent them ground. Um, and it actually had to, I actually had to fight, if you believe it, I had to fight for my money back for the express ship shipping. But, um, and then when it came to these, I guess they've since removed the express shipping altogether, so it wasn't even an option. But shipping takes a while. So if you are on the West Coast, shipping's probably really fast. If you're on the East Coast, it's gonna take a while. That is my only kind of complaint with Charlotte Tilbury is that their shipping sucks. But I'm hoping they improve it. But again, excited to have these. But these are the brand new two Pillow Talk shades for the hypnotizing pop shots. And we have the Pillow Talk Diamonds. And this is the Diamonds Dimension. And then this is the Pillow Talk Ultraviolet and it is called the multi-dimension. So two different shades, both in the Pillow Talk, and I have a couple of the comparisons of the original Pop Shops. I still have all seven, um, but I didn't bring out Smoky Taupe, the Emerald, and the Cosmic Rocks, because I didn't, they just have nothing to do with these. So, but I do have these just to kind of side-by-side -side comparison, but I'm going to try each of these. I have not swatched them. I, I've been wanting to, but I have not swatched them, and I'm gonna put one on each eye and kind of do a live first impression. But again, like I said, I love the Pop Shots. I use them all the time, and I've also had some experience since I've recorded my first video on how I like to use them. Okay, so real quick, we'll just get into the packaging. So here is the Audi packaging, very similar to the one from the holidays. You have the color up here. And if you can see, we'll have the packaging here. So here is the outer packaging. And here you can see, it is basically just a pink and a lavender, whereas the one from the holidays were multicolor. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of see that they were multicolor. So there's a little subtle difference between the two, um, but so this one had a kind of a little bit of color of everything, and you have here, this is the rose gold, and this is the one everybody thought would be similar, but this is the rose gold, and this is the new Pillow Talk um, Diamond Dimension. So, you know, enough of a difference where you could have both, but if you had this one, you probably don't need this one. This is the only one I think that is in stock right now. Most of the other ones have sold out. Some of them may be coming back. They Some stay discontinued and some stay out of stock. So I'm thinking the ones that are out of stock may be restocked. Um, but the um, this one is still in stock, but obviously this one is brand new. The, uh, the Ultraviolet is completely sold out. 
But, um, you know, so let's go ahead and get into this one. And this is the Pillow Talk Diamonds, Diamond Dimension. And it's very much in the Pillow Talk theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it on my hand here. And well, it's, it's right here. So that is the Pillow Talk Diamonds. Now, this was the one that I think is probably the most wearable, that I will wear the most. Um, not necessarily the one I was most excited about. I was actually really excited about the Ultraviolet, but this one I think is just really in line with everything Pillow Talk. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm really excited to try this. One of the things I did say that I, I I have learned to how I, I like to use these, and I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna do, I'm just going to put this on a very naked eyelid, but what I've learned is I like to layer these with the eyes to mesmerize. I put up, you know, a, you know, any short, any shade of eyes to mesmerize, I try to find one that coordinates, and then I layer this on top, and that is the perfect combo. Like the eyes to mesmerize kind of serves as an eyeshadow primer, and it's just, it is the perfect combo. I absolutely love it. You can even layer it with two. I don't really do that, but um, if you pair this with an eyes to mesmerize, to me, it's perfect. I'm not gonna do that today, but I did wanna share that because that is how I like to wear these the most. I also like to wear these just with a matte shadow. So I have the iconic nudes, the little six pan palette. I also have the Give Beauty quad that I love a lot, and I will pair it with one of these little pop shots as well. So that's another way I like to wear that, but the most probably the most popular like to way I like to wear it is with the eyes to mesmerize. Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with my finger, but I do like to apply this both with my finger and a brush. It just depends, but I tend to go in with both, but I'll apply it first with the finger and then I will go in. I, the thing with going in with your finger is I feel like you start to get hard pan on them. It just, it just is what it is, but um, I'll pat this on and then I'll go in and kind of smooth it out. Now it says that you can do this in one swipe. Yeah, that's not happening, but it is really fast. You can do these really fast, especially if you're not gonna go in with a nice to mesmerize or anything else, you're just going in with this really, really fast, really, really quick and easy. Um, I have used these quite a bit and I know a lot of people are saying it's $34, they don't feel like they're worth $34 and they may not be for you. I think it's really up to the individual person. I like everything on Charlotte Tilbury. I tend to buy everything Charlotte Tilbury and I am a Charlotte Tilbury stan. So I am um, just, I'm gonna automatically like everything, but I will say I have used these quite a bit. And I've used the Emerald Rocks, I mean the Emerald, I forgot what it's called, the Emerald one and the Cosmic Rocks more than I really expected. I really only bought those to do the review and I use those quite a bit. Um, so they're just, they're fun colors, especially the Cosmic Rocks. I think that one is so unique and I think that's why the Ultraviolet has been so popular because it's very different than anything else. So that is the um, Pillow Talk, what is it? The Pillow Talk Diamonds Diamond Dimension. I think it is beautiful. It is very, very much in line with the other shades. It's just obviously a different color. But um, let's go ahead and do some uh, comparisons. I still have the swatch here. So I still have, let's just make this a little bit deeper. And let me um, compare to any of the other shades that may be compar comparable. Okay, I'm gonna start with rose gold, which is the one that everybody kind of thought. So it's similar, but different. Next is Lover's Diamond, and this is Sunlit Diamond, and then finally Diamond Eyes. So very, very different. Definitely this is more of a pillow talk shade. Now I will say the Diamond Eyes, when I did my initial review, was the one that I liked the least because I feel like this is a shade that you can't really wear on its own, or at least for me. And it's true, I don't wear this shade on its own, but I use this a lot to complement other eye looks. Like if I need just a little pop of a light gold, I reach into this 
a lot. This is the, probably the one I use the most. I just don't use it like I use the other ones. So this one is one I think that is listed out of stock and maybe coming back. I don't know. They're all limited edition, but I think this one might be coming back. So if diamond eyes come back, this might be one you want to pick up. But otherwise, um, you can kind of see these are the comparisons. So again, pretty different, but this is definitely the most pillow talky shade. Okay, and finally we have the ultraviolet shade. This is again the one that has sold out twice. So we are gonna try it right now. Now, just looking at it, it already looks like a different texture than the other ones. The other ones just kind of seem, I don't know, a little bit, I don't know, I, I can't even explain it. This one just seems, I guess, smoother is what I would say. Not that the other ones are, are are chunky, but this one just kind of seems smoother. So I'm going to swatch it. This is the first time I'm swatching it. And very, ooh, this feels, ooh, this feels really nice. This feels something completely different. Yeah, this is, I can see this, why this one sold out. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with going in with my finger and then I will go in with the brush. But this is, yeah, I kind of see why it sold out. I, And that's the thing with these pop shots. I didn't think I was gonna like the blue and the green, and I love them. So when I saw this shade, I'm not one for color, but Charlotte Tilbury has a way of making them wearable. I, it just, where you can do it. And I think this is just very, very easy very, very wearable. I could see myself, you know, pairing this maybe with the Exaggerize uh, Eyes to Mesmerize. Um, that's, I think that would be really pretty. But yeah, this is, this is really pretty and it's very, very different. This one is just seems to be just a different texture, very smoother. It just seems, like I said, yeah, just smoother than the other ones. It's a very different, both stunning, both very pretty, but at the same time, very different and very different from the other eight pop shots. I mean, this, that, this, this one is definitely unique. Okay, so I have added the lower lash line to both and I have to say, I can see why this one sold out. I hate to say it like, um, because if you are trying to get it and you wanted to get it and you missed out, uh, I'm sorry, but um, I do believe it's coming back in stock. They have not said it's completely sold out or it's discontinued. It just says out of stock, which mean, leads me to believe that it will be restocked. Um, just follow me. I will post a, um, you know, a, an alert in my community tab when it is um, back in stock. Again, I do have a promo code with Charlotte Tilbury for your first order. It is Shannon F capital F A zero one um, two and that will save you 15% off your first order it does work on these these are $34 a piece again they are pricey but um, I really like them so you know do you need every shade no obviously the other shades are all sold out um, but I think they are beautiful so what I'm gonna do now because I had to change the theme of this video because I got it I got the product so late I'm gonna try and dupe the ultraviolet shade. I basically just went through all my palettes and any shiny violet purple shade, we're gonna swatch and just see if there's anything similar. So if you are trying to get this ultraviolet shade and you can't, let's see if maybe, now I don't have that many purple shades to be honest, but we're gonna see what I have and see if there's anything that maybe can be duped. Okay, so I already have the ultraviolet swatched. First, we're gonna try the Viseart um, Petit Pro Tro, which is, I guess, the three. There's a purple shade in here, so we're gonna swatch that and see how it compares. And yeah, it's a lot darker. Next up is Pat McGrath. We have the number six, that's why I have them numbered. And there is this purple shade, It I think it is a Blitz Astral shade. I don't know the name, but we're gonna try it and just kind of see. And and different, definitely this one's a little bit more blue, not as purple, 
but obviously this is a gorgeous shade. Okay, next up we have Mothership number three. There's gonna be four comparisons with Pat McGrath because yeah. Um, so this one actually has two purples. I'm gonna try this one and this one. And again, I don't know the names. I don't have the things with the names, but we're gonna go in that first one. And yeah, it's a little darker, but it's not too much off. And then we'll go in to the, the one that is the Blitz Astral. Now this one seems more blue. Yeah, this one's definitely more blue, but obviously a gorgeous shade, but not as purple or violet as um, the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, next up is going to be Mothership number one. We're gonna, this Blitz Astral shade over on the end here. And again, I think this one is going to be very different, but we're gonna try it see what we can find. Yeah, much lighter than this one. Obviously gorgeous shade, but much lighter than the ultraviolet. And then the last of the Pat McGrath is going to be Hitopian Dream, which is this um, shade here, which this, I think Hitopian Dream might be my favorite Pat McGrath. I'm working on a ranking right now. I'm going through them. But again, much lighter than this one. I love the shade, but much lighter than that, the uh, ultraviolet. And then my last comparison is going to be with the Cinderella Sigma palette. And there is this purple right here. So I'm gonna try a very different texture um, as far as the type of formula, but we're gonna just try it, see, and I'll just put it right next to it. Let's see here. We'll put it right next to it. So yeah, very different, much darker, really gorgeous shade but very different. So as you can see, there are no dupes, at least in my collection. And my collection with purples is not that extensive, but I have no dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury Ultraviolet. So there you have it. Those are my first impressions of these two brand new shades for the Hypnotizing Pop Shots from Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love them, but I knew I was going to. So if you are someone thinking $34 is too much to spend on a single eyeshadow, then don't spend it. Like, just don't waste your money. Don't even look at it. I, you're probably not even watching this video. But if you're thinking about them, I think they're fabulous. I, I think the um, the Pillow Talk Diamonds is probably the most wearable. Like, I could wear this pretty much anywhere. But the Ultraviolet is stunning, and it is a different. It's like it feels like it's a different formula than the other ones. It seems smoother. It's obviously. I guess a duochrome, probably, I don't really know, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. So, and for me, it is a wearable purple, if that makes sense. Like, I am not really good with color, so it's something that was very easy. I feel like it looks like I could go out, you know, to the grocery store and not feel like I looked ridiculous. So, I really love them. So, if you, if, um, again, this one is in stock, this one is not. This one will probably come back in stock, but I think if you are thinking about them, um, you know, it's definitely worth the money. It's the splurge. They're probably not gonna go on sale, so don't, this is something that you either gonna buy and you're gonna spend the $34 on or you're not. So don't wait for a sale for these because they may be out of stock before they ever go on sale. Um, I really like them, but again, this is a, you know, it's a splurge. It is a, this is a splurge. And if you think you're going to use them is what I would say. But um, I guess that's it. With that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone. <laughs>